Hello everyone. Today I want to show you my newest nail design, which comes as such a good Halloween nail design, I guess. Since Halloween is almost around the corner, what could be better than showing you my red nail? I'm filming this video on my new Sony camera which is not a DSLR but it still has the background defocus function and if you hear any weird sounds it's because my cats are being crazy just here next to me today is the Saturday before Halloween I didn't do anything special this year because, to be honest, in my country we don't celebrate it. In Romania we have other celebrations and Halloween is something that was recently imported from the USA. I am quite sure if you're from Western Europe that you have the same thoughts. And this is your case as well, unless you are British. You know that I am always an eccentric person and what now should I dress up as a normal person? Actually, I almost did become a normal person, but then I <laughs> didn't. The story is that, you know, I have a new nail tech. Her name is Nicole, she does the most amazing nail art and she wears very long nails herself, this is her preferred length. You've probably seen my latest nails with the beautiful intricate designs, I just love them. The thing is, when you have a new nail tag, you go through a process of getting to know each other's tastes and capabilities. You know that I've been wearing nails for a long time already and I'm used to having nails that stay on my fingers, that are beautiful and I'm used to being functional with my nails. I know that some of you ask what I do for a living. I'm a beauty blogger. I test makeup, I test skincare, hair care products, and I review them for you. This means that I'm always putting my hands on my face. It also means that I do a lot of typing, a lot of texting, and I'm very active on social media. People wonder how I type with these nails. I generally type with the knuckles or with thumbs like this on the computer or iPad. And also I abuse the speech to text recognition feature in the phone. And this being said, I spend a lot of time setting up the camera, putting the tripod in the right position, getting my <laughs> nails in all those small nooks and crannies of the camera, changing the battery. Sometimes I use tools that help me. I have a um, metallic nail file that is my go-to tool whenever I want to unscrew something and I get by. I am used to living my life with long nails and recently I have been experiencing some nail issues and I was blaming everything on my change of lifestyle. Since I moved here to Romania, you know, my husband is Dutch and we started a company two years ago and I have to be the middleman, the administrator of the company. So I'm not only a beauty blogger, I also run a company and that means 
having contact with authorities, with banks, all the boring stuff. Which I consider boring, but I don't trust anyone to do it for me. I am so mistrusting of people. Yep. Imagine that the IRS ladies know me by my nails. Whenever I had to go there to the... How do you say? To the IRS and I was talking to someone, they always remember me. Ah, you're the lady with the nails. Yep, that's me. And this is the type of life I currently have. It's not always easy and I am a kind of person who enjoys more stable environment. I like to take things easy. I have my routines, my rituals. That's my cat Kyle screaming. Sometimes life gets in the way of this. I need to run out the door and run to the bank or run deal with a supplier and I don't want my nails to be in the way of that. And I don't want to get my nails caught in the fridge door when I open to get some almond milk. So I do everything very carefully but also in a rush. And that's why recently I've been having some dilemmas whether to just stop with the nails altogether. And you know, that would have been a great step after more than 12 years of having extra AF long nails. And I know that you, as my fans, will say that I shouldn't stop, that I should find a way to make them work. I agree with that. I have spent most of the past two years trying to make nails work. I gave up on high heels, you know. <laughs> I make these um, shoe haul videos in which I show you all the flats that I buy and girls react telling me that they admire the fact that I wear flats. I used to run around on five inch heels and I just cannot do it anymore with nails and heels and everything I find it difficult to function I have to make a choice for my life and last week Friday before we no Thursday morning before we decided to go to Germany to get the car for my husband I was really reflecting and I was almost going to grab a pair of pliers and get rid of the nails and I called Nicole and I told her listen um, would you be able to give my nails a refill today and she was extremely accommodating and she, she's such a nice person I did not tell her all my thought process because as soon as she picked up the phone she said that she had no battery she had two percent battery so I had to be short and she said come at 7 p.m. so I went there at 7 and again I saw she was very tired she also has another job besides being a nail tech and being a nail tech is her passion I truly admire the fact that she gives from her own free time for my nails because I don't know if someone had called me and said hey would you please do my nails today when you are at work and haven't slept so much last night I would have said no thank you so thank you Nicole thank you thank you thank you and I went to her place and she started filing the nails and everything and I was not saying a word and then she just did these and she asked me what color do you want I said I want one hand gold and one hand red and she came up with this idea without even talking for a second about me giving up on the nails so if there's someone that you should thank for me having these nails today it's Nicole go give her Facebook and her Instagram a like because she's a very special person and a very talented artist and I've had the nails, these nails for a week now, a bit over a week, 10 days. She made them a bit wider than 
what she made them at first. I think that our biggest concern was that before, when she first got to know me, she uh, gave me some nails that were too narrow for my fingers. Apparently my own fingernails, my natural ones, flare up and they grow and there was a imbalance there. So I am back to a bit wider nails here at the base. I know some of you were um, saying they wished I had a different camera because they cannot look at my nails so well. Here it is, your wish came through. How everything happens in such a funny way on the day that girl wrote that comment about me having another camera my camera died the canon but so far i am very pleased with this camera so yeah please forgive me my babbling i really felt the need to share this with you i do have times when i feel overwhelmed if you imagine that i am made of stone or that I don't do anything and that I have people here doing things for me 24-7. I don't. And that's mostly because I care very much about my privacy. And you know, my husband is my biggest supporter and we've been together for so long and he always has my back. And he wants me to be happy. He also loves my nails to bits. And he even proposed that we get a live-in maid. <sighs> I don't think that is the case for now. I think that I will try a bit harder to keep up with all my habits and keep long nails as well because I'm keeping my nails for myself. I like the attention that I get and I like how I look with them on. I don't see myself without nails and yet you know sometimes life gets the best of me and I start having all these doubts and I want to thank you for your continuous support every time you like my video every time you share it every time you comment you encourage me to keep them you make me understand that it's worth having them that it's worth sharing their beauty and my passion through them and i know this has been a bit of an emotional video i am going through a bit of changes of my own that i'm not so ready to talk about maybe in the future a big change in the way that i uh, eat the fitness level everything i am in the process of changing all that and what's very funny my cats are so agitated now probably they feel it from the tone of my voice that i am very emotional about things and yeah if you've been watching until now you can enjoy the beauty of the nails I have had many compliments for these people who know me, people who don't know me. They say that this is a perfect set. I agree. It feels very good also. I will have to keep this set for five weeks because I am going on a holiday at the half of November. I'm going to be gone for a while and when i get back i will have to get an appointment i really hope that they last anyhow in uh, winter nails grow a bit less fast so that's going to be just fine and of course when you go on a holiday you don't have to do dishes and you don't have to clean up after the cats and you don't have to vacuum people ask if i vacuum i have a cleaning lady that comes every week and she stays here for eight hours she vacuums she cleans she does some ironing i vacuum every other day 
when she's not here because the cats have long hair they're rag dolls they also leave a lot of cat grit and also they just run around sometimes and they do cat things they play and i need to clean up after them they don't ruin my stuff no don't worry and two weeks ago my cleaning lady got her foot broken so she told me about it she said there would be a recovery period involved i get that I'm doing my best to do without her because she's a very nice person and I hope that she will eventually come back to me but there is a chance that's not going to happen within this year. Of course I would be super grateful if that happened but first of all I need to take care of her health. I cannot force her to be on her feet and be as active as before with a fractured foot. So I will have to be full time cleaning as well on top of all my other duties I, that I took for myself. Nobody forced me to take any duties on myself. I love cooking and I was thinking that it's been a while since I cooked like I used to. Back when I was in Holland I would cook almost every day because I enjoy it. Right now I cook maybe twice a week if we eat out a lot. Food is cheaper here and I still have this need to eat my own home-cooked meals. If you've been with me for a while, you know what type of person I am and how much all these things matter to me. Also for my physical and mental health. But this was my update. I really hope that you enjoy this type of video hope that the sound was good, that the image was good. Like I said, I'm still experimenting with my camera, with my nails, with everything, with my life. And now I'm going to edit the vlog that I made during our trip to Germany when we bought the car. There was a whole lot of controversy about that as well people asking why I need a second car and stuff like that. I know when I go online and I show you my life, that is when I invite you to have an opinion. Floki, Floki, Floki is going to eat some plants because that's how he is. He loves nails, of course, but today not really. And yeah, with this, I think I am going to finish the video and I hope that you could get an impression of how my life is and why I do certain things the way I do them and that you can understand me a bit aside from just admiring my nails and perhaps my makeup and by the way in the vlog there's a lot of um, me without makeup on and with huge eye bags because I was tired because yeah when I travel I don't get my sleep so I'm wrapping this up thank you very much for watching it felt therapeutic to talk to you to get so personal and I will see you again soon please give the video a like comment if you don't have what to say just leave a heart Thank you so much.